So for the application, we have Medscape. This is a very helpful app because it is all in one and most of the features are offline compared to the memes application. You can access various drugs here. Um, there is an interaction checker, brief discussion of various conditions, procedures, and what I like about this is the pill identifier. So for example, you are searching for a circular tablet. blue color with this cord and with an imprint of MD530. Oops, um, there should be no scored, sorry. And then, ta-da! You have the methylphenidate hydrochloride with more details. Next is we have TRC Pharmacology. Um, this is offline and it shows brief discussion of the topic as you can see. You can search the disease and then read it and have a quiz afterwards. What I like about this is it has an illustration of the pathway which makes it easy to understand. So for this site, we have this osmosis.org and I really like this site however you need to pay some price. But you can still use it for a free trial like what I did today. I highly recommend learning first human anatomy and pathophysiology before going to pharmacology. As you can see, I already finished all the discussion in this section. And what I like about this site is at the last part of the video, there is a very cute illustration which summarizes all the discussion. This is very beneficial for visual learners like me. For our reading materials, I highly recommend having this summarized chemistry discussion back when you are in high school because this will be your foundation. Oops! Periodic table! This is really important today. Okay, back to the topic. I have this PPD or Philippine Pharmaceutical Directory and it is very similar to memes. I got this in National Bookstore for about 450 plus pesos. And this is 2019 edition, so it is pretty recent. It comprises many medicines which is available in the Philippines. Its content include the generic name, the dosing and indication, contraindication, pregnancy risk, side effects, and the most important is the precise price here in the Philippines. Next is under PPD, this is Better Pharmacy. So I got this from my professor. Thank you, ma'am Ali. Aside from the drugs, what I like about this is it has patient counseling chart. It will guide you when you counsel patients, um, you can give probing questions and some other counseling points. It has also portion for clinical pharmacy, um, improving communication skills, our loss, and the generic dispensing process. Jenkins Quantitative Pharmaceutical Chemistry, the holy book for quality assurance and quality control because you can find here procedures on assaying and standardization of a certain compound, comprehensive discussion of principles, sample calculations, and USP standard requirements. I got this for about 300 plus pesos. So these last two books are not a must, but I still recommend having one so that you will have other reliable source if you need clarification in your discussion. Um, this is my brother's book because he is a nurse and I borrowed it. This book, I got this from Market Market the gig for 175 pesos only in a book sale. And it's really cool as you can see, this is a combination of three subjects. Very solid.
I have very few books because I'm a second year student and most of the pharmacy books have online PDF copy and I will link that in the description as a thank you for watching my first video. Take care! Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Bye!